Ashtown Pound has had complaints for over a decade. The very first one that I could find on Google was in 2008 when a very experienced and qualified canine behaviourist named Susie Walsh brought to the attention that there could be a disease outbreak in Ashtown. Now the documents you're looking at are articles and also Dublin City Council meetings where the vet is saying that there is nothing wrong with Ashtown Pound but actually in the same documents she has noted that there was one case of parvo and another case of another disease that she, she saw while she was investigating it. Now for me, I find this uh, contradiction in, in a report and I would have asked for further information, but that wasn't done. Over the years, the complaints kept coming. Hundreds of thousands of people signing many petitions to close Ashtown Pond. Over the past number of months, there has been serious issues in relation to Ashtown Dog Pound and disturbing news that an ongoing guard investigation into the treatment of dogs that were brought to the pound and I'm very aware of the Ashtown Dog Pound issue as a councillor was brought forward to us on many occasions and uh, to be honest with you I'd be horrified if my dog was ever ended up in that pound. And I've been looking at the current legislation in relation to... Um, in terms of what he has said, and it's something I would have a particular interest in, and I think um, animal welfare uh, is a priority of this government. Uh, I think the legislation needs strengthening, um, and the government is committed to strengthening legislation uh, in relation to this and ensuring best practice, uh, and in particular the, the very best welfare of, of animals. Um, and, uh Uh, we agreed that un until such time as the manager could ensure that no further unnecessary suffering would be inflicted on dogs that we had placed at Ashton, uh, that he would ensure that no further dogs would be placed there. Um, members, uh, the chief executive's response to my motion last month, uh, I believe his response was unsatisfactory and didn't reflect that he had an understanding of the serious nature of what was happening at Ashton Dog Pound. We had a, me we had a meeting uh, on Friday um, prior to which I wrote to the manager and expressed the fact that I was ashamed that Dublin City Council was associated with the service that was been uh, paid for by the City Council at Ashton Dog Pound. Um, the manager uh, uh, came to a meeting with me and others and his officials on Friday and he acknowledged at that meeting um, that there was issues that he was not proud of uh, at Ashton. I'm now asking the manager to, in, refer in reference to the replies that were sent to me, that were sent to members of this uh, forum, and most importantly, replies from him that he sent to members of the public who expressed huge concern at what was happening in Ashton because of their experience there. I want him now to please address those people and acknowledge that the information that was available to him was wrong and that he apologises for that information being sent out. Uh, it is not acceptable, City Council. And yes, on that basis, I have to say, um, it is embarrassing for me that information I would have responded to councillors and to members of the public based on the more recent inspection, it was incorrect and I apologise for that.